The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 65. You get the Nasdaq off 18. S&Ps are off 9. We have gold up $3.80 at 1266. Silver's up 13 cents at $17.12. We get light squeeze crude down 65 cents at $50.58. And uh, bottom line, notes, bonds, folks, at all time highs. Uh, they close here, they're gonna be at all, they're gonna close at all time highs. You get the notes up 10 ticks, 131.07. We're at a 166 on the 10 year. Uh, the 30 year is up a full point and three ticks, and it's not stopping at 167.30. King dollar is uh, up 470 ticks at 94. The euro is at 113, and the yen is at 106. These <laughs> so rates going up? No, no, right? yeah, not exactly. even, not even <laughs> close either. This is it's just uh, you know, we know we've been looking at this, folks, but it's an absolute mind blow. I mean, I'm ha I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around it. I am, and I'm not. You right, know what I mean? Because right. it's like, oh my God! They're not, they're a lot of people can make both sides of the argument, right? Yeah. Because it's quite an argument in yeah. terms of which way things go. Well, I'm have I am having a much harder time now making an argument that they are going to go up because the rates across the world are so low. It's like it's like okay, man. Yeah. Like you know, and yeah. the you have the the European Central Bank this morning. They were buying. What they, this is like crazy. What's go, what's going on? They because what has happened is that. The, the market itself knows now what they're buying every day in the corporate market, so that's like a, a, a no-brainer. You're not supposed to be front-running, but I, I, you know, the bottom line is that you talk about a, a nice trade, man. <laughs> you're in those bonds and you're all set. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, a TD Ameritrade, a think or swim. Now, every trading day, folks, right here, 12 noon, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Kevin, got a great show. Kevin, Scott, Cindy, swim lessons. You trade options, folks, it's an absolute must. You can get it right on your cell phone, tfnn.com, hit Tiger TV. You're gonna get HD quality video and audio. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, guys. How's everything going? Morning, How you Kevin. doing, man? If you're not short bonds, you're doing fine today. Oof. That's a fact, man. You know, this is just that a- Tommy, that is a bloodbath. It's it's unbelievable, man. I mean, <laughs> it's and you know, it's it's amazing in the context of whether it's eight weeks that you know the Fed said they wanted to go up. You had all the Fed governors out there, and since that last jobs number come out, there hasn't. Well, Yellen spoke once, but not one Fed governor's out there. I mean, it's like not even close. It's like frozen, right? right? Um, two old sayings come to mind when I look at this bond market, and. Uh, when I was a young trader, a guy once told me, these markets can stay out of line longer than you can stay liquid. Yeah, no, that's a fact. That's for sure. seeing a lot in these markets. And the other thing that a trader told me in the green markets is, these markets will go where they can hurt the most people. Oh, yeah. Um, is that Sometimes that's where these futures markets drift. I, you know, pain is inflicted. Kevin, I have this saying that the, the market's job is to take the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time. And exactly. I, we've seen it's it. I mean, one. I don't even know yeah. how it does it. How can it be that efficient? <laughs> but, right. but it is. It is, you know. Yeah, but these, these, these bonds, oh, my gosh. And we saw, you know, uh, Thinkorswim has, has a feature called the trade flash. Yes. Where it, you, you put a, it shows big delta trades. And right before we went on the air yesterday, there was three massive trades in of of people selling bond futures. Wow! So somebody's trading up here, and someone's getting massively <laughs> short bonds. But you know, they may be right, but there there may be a day off. But who knows, man? But there, there's some pain going on in the bond markets right yeah, now. Yeah, right. And what happens, folks, in the market uh, when you're a day off, unless you're the Federal Reserve and keep printing money. Uh, that's plenty of time to be off on a spike high. For sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You gotta have some deep pockets. Right. Yeah. You need the printing press. We all know. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, man, it's not even close. Hey, you well, know. Anyway, today, 
Today we're going to talk about Delta and oh. directional trading. You know, nice. We, we, we took a step back yesterday, talked about advanced orders and how to put them in. Yes. Like that. Today we're going to focus on directional trades. Nice. And, and using Delta to, to, to weight your direction when you're trading options. So a real good topic for beginners, intermediates, and advanced traders. Yeah, the Delta is so important. It's I think unbelievable. I'm going to make sure I listen to that one. No, yeah, I, there's I, nothing more. There's almost nothing more important, right, Kevin? Like the Delta. Right. Well, that's the, the number one thing a trader comes in over time, right? When he comes in in the morning, looks, he goes, "What's my Delta? Yes. What's yeah. my exposure? What directional risk do I have on?" And and that's what Delta does. I mean, every trader in the world wants to know what his Delta is. Right, and you know, Kevin, in the afternoon we get a lot of calls, and when someone really hits the option market good, meaning that they're in the money good, they've got an option on. And then what happens is so deep in the money that I say, listen, you got to understand, you really don't even have an option anymore. You, you're, you're trading the stock, man, because you're so deep in the money. So, you know, if Once that- Once you get over 70, 75 Delta, you're really, you're really stocked. Exactly. Right. So right. The, the key there, of course, is that, you know, most of the time, take your money. I mean, unless you want to really trade the stock, do you know it's, what I mean? It's so much exposure, especially if you put up a small amount of money for like an out of the money option. Yeah. Especially, right? And, and right. now you're in the money good. It's like, yeah. okay, guess what? You're going to wake up tomorrow, it's down two points, and all of a sudden, you're well, done again, yeah. you know? Right. So. And what we tell people to do, and what we showed them yesterday in Win Resort, was roll your strikes up. Right? Yeah. Your Delta. Oh, okay. Nice. Cool. That's awesome. 12 o'clock today, folks, right here at TFNN. Kevin, thanks so much. Have a great one and a safe one. Can't wait, guys. Thanks, Kevin. Okay, we're coming right back, folks. Tommy and I, you stay right there. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Folks, our phone number is 877-927-6648. Right now, you got the uh, Dow off 70, NASDAQ's off 15, S&Ps are off uh, 9, and uh, what do we got coming 1030. up? 1030. That's right. There we go. <laughs> got a little bit of volatility coming into that number. Here's our L natural Look gas. at that already. So already we've gone from 248 to 245. And from really from 245 to 248 back to 245 within the span of four hours, right? Right, yeah. right. So we get natural gas numbers coming out, folks, at 1030. Now, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see the banner on the top, on the side. You can hit the banner. They'll uh, put $25,000 of paper money into your account. You can see how these babies trade. Okay, so let's see where we're Are at. Are you bullish? I think I'm You're always looking for a bid. No, not today? Not today. Not and, today. And, okay. and, and which is a shame. It's too bad that Do we just went... you want to look went, at your Bloomberg? Is that what you're going to say? It's too bad that we just went from 48 to... Well, let, let, I, I, thought, I was going to say the exact opposite of what you were going to say. Is yeah. that I thought you were going to be bullish, and I was going to say you're going to get a bargain, right? Because... Yeah. Yeah. No, but, so... But not so much. Yeah. Where, where are we at the... Let's see what the boxes look like. We, yeah. We need the, the top... spreads? Yeah, sure. please. Um, so... Right now we're at 245. Yeah. So if you're bearish, you like to get 245 near the ceiling, and there's there's actually one where it's literally, uh, it's too it's. Oh look at that! They don't want to sell it's, it. It's too far outside of it. It's still like you could call it like 80 ticks. Right? Yeah. So there's one two twenty two low. Yeah. Exactly. So the 250 they're gonna make you eat. Let's I mean, see. this is almost gonna be an even. Yeah. Well, that's not bad because you know the way yeah. the reason why I knew it was going to be even is because yeah. we're at two forty-five, and you know it's from two thirty-five to two fifty-five. Middle's going right. to be two forty-five. You're going to have equal risk, equal reward. Right. You'll have basically ten cents of risk on each side, which is a hundred dollars of risk on right. each side. Depending and that's on not big enough takes. for me. You like a risk reward more in your favor, yeah. And you like to pay a little bit of premium, right, to have right. a risk reward in your favor, right? Yeah. You know, particularly here. Yeah, let, let's let me just look at the, the Bloomberg for a second. Okay. Time. Yeah. No. Go ahead. Yeah, no, there's no bid offer on that. Yeah. And these, again, these are the 11 AMs. Okay. Actually, as I say that, let's just take a peek real oh, quick. Oh, yeah, right. Um, we might have something better here, yeah. 250, same deal. Right. No, no, not quite. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is a little bit better. I see this, okay. Yeah, so, so I mean, that's why I was like, not quite, because yeah. I knew we were at 245. Right. The ceiling's 250, so we right. got about five cents right. in premium, which translates yeah. to about fifty dollars. So five point five cents, right? Yeah, fifty-five dollars of risk. Now, in theory, the reason why you're not going to have to pay so much premium, like yeah. the reason why this bid offer is pretty close to market, right, is because there's not a realistic chance that this is probably going to go all the way to two dollars right. by two thirty. Right. So you're not right. going to have to pay that premium for a reasonable expectation. Right. But still, you only have fifty-five dollars per contract, and you have the same kind of um, exposure yeah. that you would have had on the other one. I know, I know. So let's bring this up because I, I like that one. I like that. Well, I like that one particularly because the other one was ninety three dollars for one hundred and seven dollars. Yes, and you had equal equal yeah. on each side, but you had to put up okay. almost a hundred per contract for that equal on each side. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Where the heck am I? One second. <laughs> okay, so natural gas right now. Two fifty three, and what I'm looking for. See, that's been a nice run. So what I'm looking for, folks, is a couple spikes in volume to see whether. Okay, so the highs this morning. The first high had had some volume. The second high didn't. Oh, I like that. Okay, we'll sell it. You looking to sell it? Yeah, okay. please. Yeah. Now, even just before you do that, all yeah. right, because we still have a few minutes. It's right. 22 past. I just wanted to take a look at even the noon ones. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it looks like those are the exact same as the 11. They are. And that's probably because natural gas was trading at the same exact right. level for that hour. Right. Okay, so going so, back to... Going back to the dailies. The dailies. And actually, you know what? Again, let's just take a look yeah. as these change as well. Yeah, so this this is this is very similar, except yeah. the floor is going to be 210 instead of 2. Okay. So literally identical. 
Um, That's pretty funny. You that, might pay a little bit less premium, but I think, you know, as I say this, maybe you do want to, if you're going to be bearish, right? Yeah. Maybe you want the $2 one, right? Because yeah. What if it does Exactly. Yeah. If it croaks. Why not? maybe you're paying $1 extra per that, contract That's all for you're that. paying. Right. right. So, so again, you're selling them. Yeah. You're going to sell them to the bid. Yeah. Now, this is interesting. The market's only five by five here. Okay. So do five of them. We'll take them. Five, your max loss of 285. Yeah. 280. Okay. Good. And you okay. So what we'll get, we'll get this baby going and see uh, where this shakes out. So where my, where my head's going with this, I, I'm not, of course, I'm not looking for that big downdraft like that. But what you do have, we've had a nice expansion on the way up. Um, you know, you can get a, a, just a normal pullback and still do all right. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you have a, a risk reward in your parameter. It's basically fifty fifty five dollars per contract. Right. Right, and, and the, of course we go to break in like three minutes, and we come back in three minutes, right at thirty past. And, and then what you have, so it, it's got kind of interesting. It, it, well, that's five pennies, the, the lows of uh, yesterday. No, the lows of two days ago. Let me bring this back here. This is a bit. Yeah, it's going to be wild watching this thing shake out, man. The uh, the market itself, folks. Okay, what I expect you're going to see out here today. Um, you know, you're getting a pullback. I suspect you're going to have light volume. And that's still going to set up this run on that S&P. But what I do also see is that you can see a couple sectors that are really starting to turn right now. The real question is going to be, I think the wild card is even, well, definitely in my, my head, is that with bonds going up so dramatically and like free money, it's like, oh my God, hold it. If the, if, if the money keeps getting less and less and less, people are going to put it to work. So I'm saying to myself, man, I'm bearish in the market, but guess what? They're going to throw it in the market. <laughs> you know, it's think, like, because yeah. it's, it, it's an asset. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, man. So this is where it's going to get really weird. Now, what I think could happen is that people will just freak in the aspect like, are these bonds going up so much because we're going into recession? Are this, you know, you know, what, what is happening? Right. You know, right. what is, What's what the is, underlying deal? What is the underlying deal? Yeah. You know, so... Uh, if we go overseas and we take a look at overseas, um, all of all the market, you know, you, you get the DAX is down 1.1, um, the CAT's uh, down six tenths, the FTSE is off nine tenths. Um, the decent, decent amount of red on that chart. There, there is. Graph, and yeah. if you if you go to Asia, uh, Shanghai was closed last night. Uh, Hong Kong was closed. Uh, Nikkei, I believe, was opened. I think the Nikkei was opened. Why were they closed? I'm just curious. Some kind of holiday. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, midweek holidays. We don't get many midweek holidays. Mine. It seems like it's always a Monday or a Friday. Yeah. Or right. Season. Right. Well, that's you know. Oh, you, this is pretty cool. You're saying that because Thursday. We don't um, need Thursday. Oh, well, well, I say that Thanksgiving. So shame well, on me. Well, okay. what happened though? This is this is cool. So when I was growing up, when I was your age, we had a lot of them. Okay. And then they decided that hey, this is crazy. Everyone likes we have three. Yeah, we got to change these to Fridays and Mondays. Makes that's sense. what they did. Yeah. They they yeah. said okay, they, you know, which totally makes sense. Of course. It's not even close. Then it's man. a three day celebration. Yeah. Right. Totally. We should no matter we what should, you celebrate. We should have a four day work week anyway, man. What difference is that? You're going to go four day weekend, right from three to four. Oh, it would be even better. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the uh, higher volume stocks out here. Let's take a look at them. We have the, uh, oops, look at that. I'm in, I'm oh, in, I'm you're in, in Asia. I'm in the, the Nikkei. Where are you in the Nikkei? Okay. Was, you stay right. Saying, whoa, wow. Whoa, Isn't whoa, that cool? What are these stocks? That was all red. Yeah. Yeah. These eyes are all red, too. So, you know, out of the top uh, 24 stocks, you only get uh, four of them that are green. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to be coming back with some natural gas numbers for you. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are down 67. NASDAQ's out 15. S&P's are down 8. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender.
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, I'm on the wrong side of this trade. Gas is to the moon. It just I think went it from, caught a bid. To, to, I just went from 246 to 252. The bottom line is that uh, it's off the bottom. Uh, you know, it's interesting, though. Dude. I mean, we're looking. Let's pull a little your Bloomberg over here. Yeah. And it's saying that stockpiles rose about 65 billion cubic feet, yeah. and the median estimate was 76. So I guess it was a miss by 10. But right before they came out, we saw a headline saying the Bloomberg user survey was at about 68. So not not a substantial substantial miss for for an eight cent spike, but who knows? I mean, I guess it was. The market speaks. And look at that, I'm in Jay. He got the binary in there. Uh, Eleven a.m. Eighteen bucks, right? Two forty eight. So he had a two forty eight. Yep, he uh, he was he was playing both sides. He was looking for volatility. He had a two forty eight and a two forty two, and he paid eighteen for the upside and twenty for the downside. So he was in for thirty eight. That's as a sweet long deal. As one came in, he he cashes out for a hundred. And I just blew my brains out. <laughs> no, let's not. Let's not. Let's no. not be that exact. Didn't I? Hold up. Yeah. No. I mean, I you're, did. You're, yeah. yeah. I just went you, down. You, you didn't blow your brains out. No. You're, you're, no. You're, that, that was my point. <laughs> yeah. That's. I think most of your capital, your your ceiling there was two fifty. Right. 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 But on the on the flip side of that, right. So yeah. here's the flip side. I get all day. <laughs> no, no, that's well. That's oh, that's right. another. There's yeah. a lot, there's lots of yeah. flip sides. The flip side is the first contract we were looking at. You would have been risking a hundred dollars per contract, right? And two fifty-five was the upside, and so you would have had complete loss there as well. Okay. So okay. So, kudos to finding a better risk reward, right? Where you're yeah, only risking all fifty-five because you are kind of expecting big moves in either direction. That's why you like to limit your risk right. on one side, right? And play the direction right. on the other. And this is a perfect example where you did get a big move. You happened to be in the wrong direction, um, but you only had fifty dollars per contract instead of the hundred. No doubt. So let's let's let, let's look at this how this thing is set up right now because if we go over to the UNG, what we're going to see the now the UNG is the um, look at that move yeah the UNG is the it's a big spike I mean yeah, ten huge. cents I mean I it's wonder the, there's got to not there's got to but I bet there's there's probably more going on in those numbers as well that they're factoring oh no, yeah listen it's the UNG is the natural gas uh, ETF so that's up uh, twenty four cents um, that's quite a move man no, no doubt. So, yeah, we take a look. Natural gas rise the session after EIA storage data. 
So natural gas up 3.1% after weekly surge of 65 versus the medium estimate of 76. So that's not much, man. You know, that's the bottom line really is that's, that's... It shouldn't be, I mean, you know, compare it to the jobs number miss, yeah. you know, which is like a jarring miss. That seems like now we're not probably expert commodity traders, so we'll, we'll, Andy Hecht will be doing his show. I'm sure he'll be talking about it tonight, but, um, yeah, this, but, but it's they, 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 just they, common sense. You bring some common sense into it. That's not a jarring number that should upset the market, to put it that way. That makes sense to anybody, right? Well, and, and the, cool, the cool thing is that, uh, bottom line, is that now we got a tradable natural gas number, you know, because that, this, this run is extraordinary uh, off the bottom. Yes, you yes, know, There's definitely. no doubt about that. Definitely. Now, what we had also, uh, one of the tigers are bringing this up. That. Uh, one of the tigers are bringing it up simultaneously is that uh, GC gold moved. The, this is going to be weird if gold moved at the same time. And it did. Uh, you know, not that, uh, you yeah. know, we just yeah. went from $5 yeah. to $9. Yeah. So we'll see what's underneath there. Is that a 1030? Yeah, it is. Well, no, 10:20 it started. Yeah. I, what we did do, you know, it was pretty wild. Is that uh, what did happen uh, right before the number come out? We could. I said to Tom, I says, "Oh no, someone's bidding it up right now." Yeah. That was that was early. I said, "Don't worry, the news hasn't come out yet." Yeah. And right. it hadn't. No, but, it hadn't. But somebody was bidding it up. Someone had was bidding it up. No doubt about it. Kudos to them. That was a good trade, right? Yeah. They got the number first. Mr. Beeks. They got the number Mr. first. Mr. Beeks. Because nobody can make a trade before the news comes out that's correct without... I didn't say that. You, that's just, what you implied. You I didn't say it. I just yeah, said they got the number first. Yeah, you didn't say it. I know. You implied it. So I'm going to dial stocks out here. This is what we have. You have, you have Merck down uh, 18 cents. You have Big Mac up 70 cents. Procter & Gamble is uh, down 18 we have, uh, look at Amazon. They, you can't, on a down day, Amazon doesn't even want to get down. That's a $726 stock that's down 55 cents. Yeah. <laughs> that's just amazing. It's powerhouse. There's, there's no doubt about it. You know, in the, in the, uh, in the paper this morning, this was pretty cool. So, uh, in the journal this morning, they have uh, Larry Page, who one of the founders of Google, Google right? Yeah. Uh, he had, uh, they had a, like a, well, first it was just a building next to where Google is, right? And was Amazon all... had one next to where Google is? No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm, I'm just talking about uh, Google now. Okay, I, I, okay. I've switched gears on you. So, and, and the, the journal this morning, what they're talking about is that there was this building next to Google, big secret deal going on last three years. Bottom line, it isn't Google that is in there. It's Larry Page personally funding flying cars. Okay. And it oh, and I, it's, start, and I it's, saw a headline this morning. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't read it. I saw and a headline. It, and it, and it started out like with 50 people, and then he was living upstairs, and now there's 170 people in there, and they're, they're into flying cars, man. Pretty intense if you have the Google <laughs> founder with uh, with almost 200 people. They, I, they could probably do it, some big things, it's, right? It's yeah. just amazing. Flying, and flying they, cars. The thing that's pretty cool, folks, when you read the article, is uh, that you have um, uh, pilots... Um, have been reporting for the last three years. They've been seeing these weird... Vi uh, Around there. Yeah, okay, <laughs> and if, you know, it, it didn't say whether, you know, people thought it was weird, but the pilots thought it was weird. Like, sure. what is this flying sure. up and down, sure. you know? Isn't sure. it? Pretty cool. It's, it's amazing, actually. 877-927-6648, um, let's go, uh, I don't think I have any help in that. I think this is probably a breakout. UNG, let me just put this, mm -hmm. UNG. Yeah, this is this is going top side. Next one more time, you, yeah. you actually got you know you're, you're taking out a swing point, you're taking yeah. it out with volume, um, all of the above. So the UNG right now, you get three point six million shares. You you'll you'll do nine million. You should. That's a swing point. So the UNG wants to go to seven ninety seven. You're at uh, seven seventy three. Big move, man. Big move. Big move. We go over and we take a look at the spy, folks. Uh, the spy right now. Let's see. So the spy is backing down. You get light volume on the back down. It just rejected lower price. The NDX 100. That looks like it's rejected lower price too. So if we look inside the NDX 100, uh, the strength out here. Man, this is funny since. It, you know, American changed its frequent flyer program a few days ago. They went from miles to dollars, and since then, American's gone up. So today, it's 2.3 percent. Uh, Endo is up 1.6 percent. This is inside the NDX 100. 
TripAdvisor is up 1.5%, and you get Intuitive Surgical up 1.2%. Taken away from it on the way down, you get uh, Bed Bath & Beyond down 3.2%, Discovery Communications down 2.5%, you get uh, Seagate down 2.4%. Have you ever gone to the, um, the new Restoration Hardware Store? It's kind of near you. Yeah, it's right. Uh, I was just telling you, I was at the mall walking yeah, around. That's right. where it's an inter that, international. Okay, um, okay. I've walked past it. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I so, haven't been inside, I don't think. So check this out. Restoration Hardware is down $7.5 today, $28. And, yeah. Ha they have, have quite a presence at it, International it's Mall. It's gorgeous. There's, a, there's yeah. only like three stores like that in the whole country. Okay, yeah. That's what I was just okay. curious. I, I want to go to that store before it they go out of business. Yeah. <laughs> you stare it right looks there. looks like a hotel. Yeah. It does. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by. TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we get the Dow Industrials right now down uh, 71. You get the Nasdaq off 18. S&Ps are down 9. We have gold up uh, 820. Silver's up uh, 25 cents. Let's go over to the silver market. Um, that silver market, you talk about volatility, man. When, when the bids come in, or well, when they sell it down, uh, it's pretty amazing uh, how fast it can go. You know, excuse me, folks. Yes, they had silver go from $16.39 to 1711 And today we go up another $0.26. Cents. Um, you know, the silver wants to go hit the highs. And uh, percentage-wise, uh, the moves are just monsters, you know. What you, got, what you have out there, you 1.5% today. Um, 
Natural gas is up 2.7. Uh, copper, you know, they hit copper again. Copper's down almost 2%. 2 you get wheat down 1.4. The uh, XAU, the XAU and HUI, they both look to me like they're just laying right underneath these highs. And we'll see whether they can get up and over them. Uh, what we did yesterday is that uh, you did 50 million shares in the XAU. You're coming into 59 million. So that was, that's a pretty good indication that it wants to, it was pushing it with some decent volume. If we go to the HUI, and what happened here, folks, okay, this is what's, you know, it's not unusual, but you want to wrap your head around it a little, is that the HUI, we did 25 million shares, and you're going into 32. What happened at the close yesterday? Um, GDXZ had called me, John from Philadelphia had called me in the 3 o'clock hour. Okay. And the, uh, the GDX didn't have the volume uh, to take, well, it had gone over the high of May 7th. That high there, folks, is $26.17. We had volume of $84 million, and the volume was really light at, at $3.30, because it yep. was pretty cool as I could look at the uh, IMs, it was $3.30. Okay. Well, what ended up happening? At the close, a monster, I think it was 16 million shares come in, Okay. and we did 98 million. So it's like, okay, man, you want to go, it wants to break it out. And what that has to do with, folks, is that you got to remember something, that the ETF structures have to keep the net asset value of the stocks that are inside them. And so it, there was a balancing of that at the close. I got you. Isn't that wild? Sure. And that's where the whole chicken-egg deal goes with these ETFs. Yes, they both drive each other. They do. Yeah. They do. Let's go to Tom in Boston. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, good morning, Tom. Tommy. Good morning, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. Nope. Good, man. Good. good. How's Boston? There's a dilemma here with this USLV. We are just talking silver. USLV? <laughs> what are you making too much money? Is that, is that your dilemma? Yeah, I'm wondering if I should buy some more or just get out of it now. I mean, I've been about a week. Oh, you got some big brunt money. Let's take a look at it. The USLV, folks, is the Velocity Shares three times long silver uh, ETF. And uh, bottom line is that... Uh, you know, within the last five days, this equity has just uh, gone from a price point of 1336 to 1715. Um, you know, we had monster volume yesterday. I, I guess the way that I would trade this, Tom, is that I would stay in it the rest of today because it looks like Silva still wants to catch the bid. And, you know, you might get another 25 cents. I, I don't know whether I'd go for that extra day. I mean, you're up like, what, three or four dollars, right? Yeah, almost uh, four dollars. Three and a half, I think. Yeah, and, three and, and you, half. you trade these enough that you know that it's, it, that's, you know, that's huge Don't money. Think. And what happens, folks, is this. This is what you gotta, it, it, it's hard to do this, but you want to wrap your head around this a little. You have a $17 stock. It just went from thirteen thirty to $17. All that has to happen with, with a double and a triple is that you, silver goes down like 20 cents tomorrow, and this will drop like 70 cents. Is that, it? so what I kind of do when I'm looking at these, I say, okay, hold it. I know that, yeah, it can go another dollar or two higher, but I also know that just as easy, it can. There's more exposure now. There, in, there is more exposure, there because, is, because, you know. Yeah, you have more exposure. So, it doesn't, the, the cool thing is that when you have this and it's so early in the morning though, you can, put a, you can put a stop in right now for today and just keep bringing the stop up and then, you know, say, okay, at the end of the day, good, take Friday off, bring your wife to the Four Seasons down in the Commons, have a blast, you know? I'm also in the UGLD and I, I may do the same thing there. The, okay, so the UGLD, that's the velocity uh, three times long gold. And yeah, you know, that is not quite as volatile as silver, but no, but you, you still get big money. You know, if you're you're, you're ten fifty to eleven ninety, it's not bad, man. And you know, it's it's like that. Yeah, the highs are out there, and you know, can they go higher? The, the, you know, we've all heard this a million times. You never go wrong taking a profit. I mean, that's yeah, you yeah. not a profit that big, right? right. Yeah, that's and, for sure. And, and, and the, I think I'd jump out sometime today, yep. 
It's a beautiful thing, brother. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, man, you stay right there. Folks, we're, uh, well, actually, no, we're not, we're not going anywhere. That was quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I'm telling you, man. The, um, yeah, so, oh, this is good, interesting. So, uh, go to, hold on. Oh, you have a dash there. There you go. Uh, Vista Gold's, Vista Gold's catching a bid here. It's like, okay, what's going on here? So, that's up six cents. This is going for its highs. It's going to need 89 cents. It's going to need some real volume, but this thing's catching a bid. Um, Can we check out the world rates after this? Yeah, uh, they're here, big time. That's, yeah. that's the number. So 1.66. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So, folks, we're at 10 years at 1.66. Germany, and this was all the news. So yesterday they were talking about it's 0 0.04. 0 0.02 today. 0 0.022. Yeah. yeah. And you can see, I mean, what's great, so here's, and we've looked at these before, right? Yeah. But here's the rates within the last three month, months where it's been. And right now, we're Ooh, where it is cool. in the blue. And, I know, hadn't seen that the before. Last, we're, I mean, it's just all at the lows. I mean, you yeah. know that intuitively. Right. It kind of just puts it graphically. But, but look at this, folks. This is pretty... Same thing. You put it within the last year. Wow. Right? Check I mean, this out, folks. I mean, this is crazy. Are, well, it'd be... If you said, what are rates worldwide a year ago versus right now, you'd say they're probably lower across the board. Oh, you know, and, you totally. Know, but, but look at our 10. Our 10, folks, our 10 year for the year, the low is today, 1.659. Yes. The high is 2.48. The 30 year, if we put the 30 year up after this, sure. the 30 year, I don't even think is at 2.48 right now. It's at 2.46. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that is, that is absolutely amazing. You know, that. There's no doubt. You want to make it? Whoops. What did I do? Either way. Uh, I was going to I was gonna really blow blow all of our minds and go like five years or ten years or something. If well, they let's had. do that. They, they get the five years. No, no, no. I was going to say oh. going back to oh, see okay. where rates had been. Um, oh, I but see. But they only go back. Uh, oh, year-to-day custom. Or, no, you do can, custom. Custom. You, you can make. Okay, so when we make that uh, ten. <laughs> sure. Let's see. Five years. Yeah. Five years. That's good. Maybe just hit enter. How does it? I don't no, that's till today. That's what you want. You're good. Till today? Okay. Yeah. Hit it again. No. Try and figure we'll it out. No, you don't want to change that date. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Uh, our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now are up uh, down. Are down 49. NASDAQ's down 12. S&P's are off 7. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge for daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com.
It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. And don't forget, folks, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is coming up next. Then we'll do a going to swim lesson. Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White, myself, and our, our man, Mr. Andy Hecht, of course, because it's on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We have a chart up right now. It's pretty cool, folks. And, and what it is is that we're going back uh, in time so to give you a correlation of just how these rates um, have gone down. Yeah. So, and so this is explaining with the, the different fields, right? So 10 year going back exactly about three years. Yes. And you can see where our high has been, where our low has been. So we're up at, you know, and this is for the 10 year up to 3%. And even we're. And that's only from 2013. That was 2013. That was 3% right. 3, 3 to 1.64. If you go to. Now, this is the 30 year going back to 2010. Yeah. We're up to 4.7. I mean, that's. And we're at 2.2. That's six years. That's unbelievable. Putting it at the 10 year. Yeah. We're up 3.7. We're at 1.3. Wow. That's going back six years, which is not an eternity, for no. sure. You no. Know? And even again, let's play with it going to 2012. I don't think that changed it. So it's only four years. Four years. And that's it, the 30 year. On the 30 year, you've gone from 3.968 to 2.222. Talk about big moves. And same thing on the 10 year, almost 1.6% down. Yeah. That is just amazing. There's no doubt about it. That's. And, and, and folks, you know what's really cool here? Um, this helps you gain perspective, I think, right? It, it Especially does. in the world. You, is that where you're going yeah, next? Yeah, I want right? to go to yeah, the world. Go, go to uh, France and Germany, because this so is this, I mean, we're already there. Well, in, this is 2012. This is France, right? Right. France was up at 2.7. They're at 0.3. Yeah. Germany, 2%, basically zero. Right. And so they've gone down dramatically more oh, than we sure. have. Uh, and, yeah. Um, yeah. We, um, yeah. Yeah. If we bring well, it back, they're, they're much lower, but they were both lower in terms of you know. I mean, we've gone down 1.7 percent total. So Germany was only starting at 2 percent total. Just you know what I right. mean. Right. Um, but yeah, they've definitely declined more for yeah. sure. And, and, you, and they're both right next to zero. That's crazy. If not at and zero. If we put this just on 10 for a second, so sure. then you hit this 10 year and then again. You, no, and then we just I just you got to change it, I think. And then oh, I see. It, but we can put it back to a 10. Okay. And then there we go. So there's six years back going to the 10. Yeah, now see, this This is where this is what I was looking at earlier. So if you go back to 10. Yeah, they, okay. They're much more similar. Isn't that crazy? At the start. So if yeah. you go back to 2010, folks, we were at 3.7. France was at 3.7. And Germany was at 3.4. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so... I mean, similar ones then, right? Yeah. We're talking about great countries in terms of their security and their, and their right. stability. Yeah, Sweden, Netherlands. Um, man, Switzerland was 2.1%. They're at Not negative 0.5. Right. It's amazing. It is. It's over the top. Greece was over 30 at that time. At, at one point. Yeah. Of course. Well, just it's, Of course. Uh, one of the Tigers wanted to look at LABU before we uh, go uh, into uh, Basel. That's uh, LABU is the 300% uh, uh, biotech bull. Um, I wouldn't be buying this. That's the bottom line. Um, these biotechs are ready to fall apart. Um, you know, it's they're just, you know, they're, they're, it was rage. I mean, it was... Uh, Biogen itself that fell apart first. Yeah, let's see, Biogen, you talk about a gap down, right? For sure. And this is the largest, Biogen's the largest waiting insi inside the uh, IBB. IBB, you know. Uh, Alexa Pharmaceutical also got toasted uh, the same day that Biogen did. So this is, 
you know, they'll hold this up. The market, you know, more than likely will hold it up, you know, for whether it's a week, week and a half, whatever that is, before this thing turns. But uh, natural gas is staying up there. One final peak. Yeah, one final peak. I get five bucks left out of that trade. With a $280 trade and I get five bucks left. There's a market there. <laughs> huh? Congratulations. Look at that market. Look at that market. But I couldn't sell five of them. I have five of them. I think that they might they might let you sell five if you want to go one by one, but I don't know. Life in the city. Right. You stay right there, folks. I'm in. Mr. Basil Chavez coming up next. And, of course, then we're going to swim lessons. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself, Andy Heck. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.